what I'm going to show you how to do, Seth, is how to write the equation of a quadratic when given an example, when given this information. So it's very important for you guys to understand that if we're going to write the equation of a quadratic, we can either write the equation in vertex form or standard form. Right? Those are the two forms that we talked about for quadratics. Vertex form, standard form. We like graphing in vertex form because it's easy to find the axis symmetry in the vertex, right? Yes, All right, so in this part, we gotta, now we have to, what we have to do is organize our information. We have the vertex, right? What letters do the vertex represent in either of these two equations? Yes, Brendan? They represent h and k. What about random points that we have over here, Lauren? What do you think these would represent? Well, eh, remember, what did we do over there? What did these two points represent? What did we plug them in for? They represent x and y, right? So in reality, these are the points that we plug in. Now, if we're given the information, if I'm given h and k and x and y, you're right. We don't know what a, b, and c is for this. So we, well, first of all, we can only plug h and k into which form? Vertex form. So to write the equation, what we're going to do is we're going to plug in the information that we're given. So we have negative 2 equals a times x, which is 1 minus 0 squared plus 5. Does everybody see how I plugged in h for h, the points for h and k into the equation and the points for x and y in? Yes? 1 minus 0 squared. Can you just write it as 1 squared? Mm -hmm. I'll do the next step. I just want to show you guys how I plugged it in, right? So now, the only thing we don't know is a. So we can simplify the problem to find a. So negative 2 equals a plus 5, because 1 minus 0 is 1. 1 squared is 1. 1 times a is a. Then to solve for a, negative 7 equals a. Cool. Yes? In a harder equation, can you use the vertex and the point to find the slope of the y2 minus y1 over x2? Just remember, the slope of a quadratic is constantly changing, oh. right? Okay. So talking into calculus, you'll learn more about that. But yeah, remember slope. You can find always slope between two points. But remember, the slope is not the same for a quadratic. It starts really slow, and then it starts increasing faster and faster. So we're not going to be really technically looking into slope for, the, or for a quadratic, um, at least in this course. Does everybody follow that? So now when we're writing the equation of a line, though, it, the equation represents infinite many points, infinite many xy's. We just had to plug in this one xy so we could find the value of a. So my equation in vertex form is y equals negative 7 times x minus 0 squared plus 5. We don't really write x minus 0 squared, though. So we can simplify that to y equals negative 7 ah, x squared plus 5. OK? Does everybody see that? Now, one thing I want to show you, um, you guys didn't have a problem like this. 